So those impacted most by today's ruling are the students. Fox 5's Kendall Green live in the newsroom after speaking with admissions experts who help prepare teens for their college applications. Kendall. Hey, good evening. Some say the Supreme Court ruling is leveling the playing field and others feel it will result in driving inequity in education, which has been a decades old issue. Regardless, college prep programs are changing their approach to securing admissions for their students as a result. After the Supreme Court moved to strike down affirmative action, college readiness programs are adjusting with the changes that are rolled out as a result. Andy Lockwood, who runs a college prep company, is one of them. He's telling his student clients to take a closer look at the colleges on their list. It's mostly to reassess their odds of admission at certain colleges, you know, depending on how they look on paper and how they look ethnically and their visual diversity. Certain groups like Asian Americans with higher standardized testing scores felt like they were discriminated against under affirmative action and not getting admitted into Harvard and the University of North Carolina. Their decision to eliminate affirmative action uh, to me is a foul judicial backhand to the face of black America. A disappointing development for civil rights trial attorney Malcolm Ruff. Essentially saying that this is negative race discrimination. Deeply disappointed but not surprised. Michael Johnson, the president and CEO of Harlem Educational Activities Fund, he for short says the move is re-energizing their effort to get more minority students over that admissions hurdle. We're going to spend a lot of time really focusing on making sure that kids are preparing themselves, building their confidence, understanding that the dreams are, are there and the possibilities are there. The opinion is aimed at increasing fairness in admission. However, you know, the college admissions process is not designed to be fair. So it's, it's not only that um, underrepresented minorities were getting favorable treatment in the college admissions process. It's also legacies, recruited athletes, international students, and um, several other categories. Schools who don't take it upon themselves to ensure diversity and racial equity may find themselves losing minorities in their student body as a result of the ruling, Johnson predicts. But schools who've made that a key priority early on could benefit. We want them to, to strive for the Harvard if they so desire and then at Heath, if they desire to do that, we're going to put the tools and put things into their hands to make sure they achieve that. But at the end of the day, there are many options for our young people that we want to give them. And that includes even some of our important historically black colleges. That now, when it takes effect, whether that'll be this year or next year, is still in question at the moment. But some predict many schools will step up their efforts individually to address potential lack in diversity in their student bodies. Teresa and Steve. Farewell. Thanks, Scandal.